dude, I'm telling you, it's it's dark brown. Brunette is dark brown. Brunette these nuts. If you look up, well, I wouldn't search up brunette, you know, girls on Google, but I'm telling you, it's dark brown. Anyways, it's... yeah, Chad says Jupiter. Yeah, she's. I think she wears a green uniform. She is uh she's like uh super strong too and super tall. She'd be super an Amazon tall. to you. Yeah, she'd be like an Amazon to you. Oh shit. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a man lit. Yeah, you're a man lit. Oh <laughs> speaking of man lit, did you hear about that shit with that uh Tekken? Uh there's this Japanese girl that's sponsored in Tekken or something. Uh and, no. Okay. And she got in trouble by her sponsor because she made some kind of joke video. <laughs> Oh my god, my ears. I'm sorry. Uh, she got into trouble because she made some kind of joke about manlets. Pretty much anyone who is shorter than 170 meters, 170 centimeters, which is below five foot seven. Yes. Yes. So oh, she she lost her sponsorship. I don't know. She was in trouble for it. Didn't share the people didn't share the humor of being called a manlet. Well, that's like half the thickness. base. <laughs> that's... What? <laughs> Guys, is the volume too loud? What the hell are we talking the, about? The, the voice lines are really loud. Should I turn it down? I don't know if I should turn it down. Those, those are their Japanese names. Oh, the way. chat doesn't give a shit. When you first started using what? Main. Yeah? I didn't know you had to pull the button down to set it. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of weird quirks and stuff. I was like, this shit doesn't work, what the hell? <laughs> it may have actually got like its 25th anniversary, I think? 20th anniversary? Oh, did it? I didn't yeah. know it was that old. Yeah, it's very That's old. That's crazy, it... man. There's still games that are like, unoptimized and kind of run on your computer. Hiya! My ears, holy shit. Hiya! Go on, let's just wait after this part here. Yeah, just I don't want to see what they... Thing. What do you think about the deposit coin instead of insert coin? But this is an EU machine. Yeah. Oh. Character contest. What does that mean? It's just, I mean, I don't know. your girl is See, look at Sailor Mars' hair. Like, look, it's like black. That's brunette. No, brunette is top left. Trust me, dude. Trust. Trust. Oh my god, oh, my eyes. Good eyes. <laughs> okay, who are you playing as? I'm playing as my girl, Mars. Alright, I'm playing as brunette. I used to like Salem Mercury, then I grew into Mars. Yeah? You evolved. Yeah. I, my taste evolved. Yeah, your, your taste... Or maybe it devolved. <laughs> oh! oh is it, was that button fire. 3? It's C, yeah, button 3. What? I think there's no enemies on the screen or something. Or maybe it refills your health. Maybe power... Ow! Oh, I hit you. No, oh, that's not good. It's already a bad start. Is okay, so there's two movement? enemies already. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's a ridiculous. good sign. Man, yeah. that Power Rangers game, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, you got ready attacks too. So, uh, this arcade game never came to the States. Why and did we're playing the EU version. Why did it never come to the States? Is it misogyny? Uh, probably misogyny, yeah. And, um, it just wasn't manly enough, you know? <laughs> it's just not okay. manly enough. It's not as manly as Ninja Turtles. Can I change my button? Please? Yeah, sure. It's better. Okay, cool. Alright. So, this game was pretty popular in Japan. It was like the 11th most popular game of its month. You which doesn't sound really only? impressive, but it's a, you know, it's a beautiful game. Wow. You think only girls play it or boys play it too? Uh, I'm sure boys played it just as much as girls. You know, this is, um, what is it called? What what, what age group is this with Sailor Moon for? Dojo. What's that? Uh, yeah, 14 year olds. Right yeah, 14 year olds. What, 12 year olds, what, 10 year olds? 8 year olds? Young yeah. girls? I don't watch Sailor Moon, so I don't know oh, what God, season and saga this is. This is by, oh, there's like 5 seasons. Or 7. Oh my god. He's a legend. So what's the like what is the boy version of Sailor Moon? Like what is 
Uh, like if we have Sailor Moon, if you ever assume it's for girls, it's the Naruto. <laughs> no, Naruto wasn't around that. Naruto's on that. Naruto's pretty new. Then it'd be Dragon Ball then, right? Would it be Dragon Ball? Yeah, I think not. Because these girls have like Kamehameha and shit. Kamehameha yeah, falls away. Oh, there's a crystal in the floor. Give me that fucking crystal. This is... What? Oh, okay. you burn everyone on the screen, man. I think the more crystals you have, the the better attack you can Oh, get. like Golden Axe. It's like Golden Axe potions. Oh, that way Golden Axe does? Yeah, Golden Axe is you grab a stack of potions. This you grab crystals. Okay, because crystals is the part of the lore. Hey, look, it's an arcade. Oh, shit, you're right. Oh, we can't go up any higher. Let's go play. Let's go play our some Sailor Moon. I think it's a charge attack, so we're gonna go with this game. Oh, man, man. Oh, the but yeah, like like I said, when I moved my uh, that mattress upstairs and I slept upstairs, I could already feel like just trying to sleep, the air is just so much more clear. Uh, musky? Yeah. Oh my god, she's beating her up. Like I feel like me going me going upstairs is just like the smartest choice. Ow. Yeah, you don't want to stay in the, the musky basement all the time. Mm -hmm. We took apart, uh, you know that big Ikea couch I have? Yeah. We, we took it apart, took the pieces upstairs. Is it hard? For me it was, and then we all, like, I'm like hopping and puffing and sweating and dying, and Willie's like, hurry up! <laughs> and Willie's like rushing me as I'm going up the stairs. Like, your life is like flashy before Dude, you, right? I'm like, I'm so out of shape, man. It's like ridiculous, dude. I was like, what the hell's wrong with you? Guys, chat, I'm telling you, man. Streaming is like the worst, the worst job ever. It's, worst job? It's, you it's get lazy. so fucking unhealthy, man. You just sit down all day and play games. I'm sure you guys already knew that. I need a, a fucking physical hobby here. You should play hockey like you're the rest of your country. Hockey? I can't even skate. I'm not sure you can learn. I can't even skate. Oh, there's a lot, right? I think these are from like the, the episodes too. Oh, yeah, two crystals. What? Holy crap! What? She, she break the fourth wall? I think she. That implies she threw it, threw it at them. What a weird ass super. So that means we gotta see every super. Then, Streamers see. better than working at McDonald's? I don't know. Oh, McDonald's, McDonald's, you get fifty percent off, dude. McDonald's, you get you get food off, and and the people that work at McDonald's are like cool kids, aren't they? Normal cools. And 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 depending on your position. Uh, you can learn leadership. You know what I mean? If you're a manager, you can lead a team of people. And fast food is no fucking joke. You know, I've been, I've been telling the chat that constantly. Yeah, it's no like, fun. It's, fast food is no fucking joke, man. That's a hard ass job. You gotta deal with idiots every day and lazy people. Yeah. Karen's. Oh, it's a boss. Or, <gasps> holy shit. Massage me. She's killing her. And she's a demon as well. Oh, shit. Take this. Oh, hopefully she's not weak to fire. <laughs> oh. Oh, my god. That's... You got a crystal. You got a crystal for reviving? Yeah. It's very simple, there's no like... Oh, there is. There is a attack and jump at the same time. Oh, there is? Yeah, it probably drains your health. Yeah, it hits awesome. on both sides. Like this. Oh my god. Oh shit, Who was that, that Tox? Holy shit, there's a big window there for no reason. That's cool. What the fuck? He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Does he... I think that's the whole point of Tuxedo Mask, is that he doesn't do anything. He kind of comes in for the clutch and then he bounces. He lets you have a kill. He's supposed to be really mysterious and shit, you know? I think the uh, teenage girls like that shit. <laughs> I think it, 
Let's see if we can let's... He's moral support? Hey, that's the dude from the meme. That's what the fuck <laughs> I'm talking about. Oh, do you know who that is? Uh... They're all like, Jedi and shit. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> I don't know who they are, though. I don't know who the, who the who the fortune teller is either. No, they don't. They don't have mini skirts, guys. It's just that the the old '80s style animation. The girls have just really tall legs. Yeah, they're, so they're, it makes like, the skirts look small, but they're actually just really tall. The legs are really tall. Oh my god! Yeah, their nice. leg, their leg to like uh, their leg ratio, body ratio, whatever is like huge. It's like 60-40. 60 At least. It's like 70, 30. I'm telling you guys. It does I've think... watched a, a ton of 80s anime. Oh, Google to right now. I it's... love 80s. Go Google it and you see how long the legs are. Mm -hmm. It's freakishly long. No, it like, okay. She's not 5 feet tall, guys. She's tall. Think, well, I just said she's super tall, man. Trust me, she's way taller than 5 feet. She's Amazon. Right? They're also yeah. in Japan too, so. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when Japan said like Sagat's like fucking 7 11? Yeah, Sagat's a fucking beast. Oh! I guess that's a good segue when we start talking about Street Fighter. <laughs> so, what do you think, bro? Are you, are you fucking excited? Do you want it to be Street Fighter 6 announcement? I Have you not... been paying attention to what's going on, Claw? I know, I know there's a countdown, and I know it's either Resident Evil 4 or Street Fighter 6. Okay, I don't, I but don't do, you know, do you know why it could be Street Fighter 6? Uh, no. It's because the timer ends right at the end of Capcom Cup. Oh. Why is there so many enemies on the screen? I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna throw a fucking count at the moment. This, trust me, that girl ain't 5 feet. Alright, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, so the timer ends right at the end of Capcom Cup, right? And yeah. for some fucked up reason, when the timer started, Claw, it was 6.24. Six, six, hour, six days and 24 hours. But, like, that's weird, right? Like, why not be seven days then? You know what I'm saying? Because of Resident Evil 6, duh. Oh, fuck off. Dude, you know what someone said on my YouTube comments? They what? said the 24 is the roster size. Street That's Fighter 6, 24 characters on launch. Could you fucking imagine That's how hype thing. that would be? Maybe it's $24. Dude. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> look. I don't really give a fuck how big the character rosters are. I think 24 is super unreasonable. Like, you know, like, you know how Guilty Gear, like, you came out with a really small, small amount of characters? I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't really give a shit either. Tom I don't Ray. really give a shit, but... Because I'm just gonna play right here anyway. <laughs> you're just gonna... No, you're gonna play fucking Ken. Okay. You're gonna play Ken, you're gonna say he sucks, and then you're gonna play Ryu. Yeah, and then Ryu's gonna suck. And then, no, Ryu will be good for the first year, and then he's gonna suck ass. And you get nerfed, he'll never come back. Yeah, and I'll play that's, the... That's the fucking lore. Anyways, um... The 24 characters actually sounds believable because... If you remember the old rumors... Uh, they're, 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 it's gonna have some kind of team mechanic. Oh shit, you're Sailor Moon. I'm the hero. You're the hero. Meatball head. <laughs> and, uh, so if it's a team based game, then a 24 character starting roster sounds very plausible. You know? Yes. Do you agree, chat, with the 24 guess? What do you guys think? Are we looking too much into it? We don't even know if it's Street Fighter 6. Yeah, There's a either. chocolate bar behind this fucking dryer or washing machine. We are looking too much into it. We'll see who's fucking right. Vesper yeah. yeah. says Meatball Head, so he's seen some Sailor Moon dub before. Oh, of course! Yeah. I've seen a dub too. Of course. Like, what? Where are we gonna get anime when we're fucking four years old, man? Dude, Sailor Moon was like right around prime time, like right when we got off school, so yeah. well, of course I'm gonna watch it. We have this Canadian uh, network called YTV, and it was just the bomb. It's like my face was just glued to YTV you know what until YTV I had to go to school. What's that? You know what YTV stands for? Do I know what it stands for? Yeah. No, I don't. 
I think it's youth television. Really? I never yeah. knew. Dude, YTV, they had awesome hosts. And, uh, they had, like, the, the most killer holiday. Like, 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 the Halloween month is just the bomb, dude. <laughs> they put on a great show. YTV was where we got, uh, got our Nick shows. So. Yeah. <laughs> All Nick shows were shown on that before... Because we didn't have a Nick, Nick channel in uh, Canada. Mm. I think Americans did. Pretty sure they did. I love white people. So yeah, Street Fighter 6, man. Oh, we ended it too soon. It, it's gonna, it's, I hope it's gonna be hype, you know? You know what another thing too? I think Mir mentioned this, but... And I think it's very plausible too. Is that the announcement on Sunday? It is Street Fighter 6, but it's all a bunch of RE title, uh, RE engine titles. So like, Hakon's gonna be like, "Yo, this is what we have in store for you know the future. We have, uh, you know, Resident Evil 4, uh, Monster Hunter, Street Fighter 6, Pragmata. Like, it's gonna be like a spectacle, you know? That'd be sick too. What's going on? I don't know. I'm just watching this. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm like... Wait, how did we get there before her? Uh, why are we so, like, uh... You know... Like, we knew we were gonna be there in the first place. I'm sure we can time this in a way where it's forever. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna, gonna loop this shit. They're gonna announce RE Engine 2? Well, they have... They ha <laughs> I know you're joking, but... the. Uh... They have been upgrading the RE engine constantly. I was reading some of uh, this guy named Gus Golem. Been reading his Twitter, just making because I'm just making sure of any rumors because he's the, the the initial leaker for Street Fighter Six and about Ono getting you know not kicked out, but Ono leaving the company. <laughs> Um, and he was talking about the, basically defending RE3 remake because apparently that that entire game was like outsourced. And yeah, it was. Okay. It was outsourced, right? And part of the option select was that with RE3 remake, the team was new to the RE engine. They had no experience with it. And he was just kind of talking about how he thought they did a pretty good job considering. So, SOS. I don't know. Like the problem with RE3 remake was the content. Right? Yeah, okay. there was I don't think there was any. Like I think RE3 remake was a pretty polished game, wasn't it? It was just short. That's all. It wasn't a technical problem. It was just a content problem, right? Yeah, yeah. it was short, yeah. right? So like I don't know like if you don't know how to work with the engine, it seems like the game should be like that's finished, you know. Oh, okay. So you're saying because of their inexperience with the engine, they couldn't, you know, get the hospital and the clock tower content because they just weren't efficient. Yeah, like they took a long time to learn it or something. Mm, right, I guess that makes sense. And then like with deadlines and stuff, they're trying to like make a build a whole game out of it. Yeah, Max saying that um, the complaint is that it could have just been an RE2 DLC. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be an amazing so DLC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's kicking. She put the kick. Oh, maybe because I only had one crystal. There's another one on the ground. Okay. I need to get three. I want to see what three looks like. There's like very, there's very few crystals in this game. Like yeah. Very few enemies. It's the same guys, so... It's just I guess another one of these enough. cash grab games, man. Yeah, like, I guess... I don't know, maybe there wasn't enough villains in this game to draw inspiration from. The company that did this game... Oh, they're really familiar. I might, have to, I might have to look up later what other games they made. Oh. So are you excited for Street Fighter 6, though? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> well, what I mean is like, are you excited? Are you, to, like, you, know? are you are you excited to move on? Wait, I thought you were gonna wait for three. Fuck it, I'm almost there. Whoa! Oh shit! 
I got that chocolate bar. Chocolate. That's what a girl likes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I usually get excited when the game comes out. Like, when yeah. before it comes out, it's like, whatever. I'll just wait. The same thing with KOF, right? I'll just, I'll just wait. Willie really was like, oh, what if they what if they announce Street Fighter 6 and there's a playable demo already? And I'm like, Willie, don't dare say that shit. <laughs> I'd be it so stressed be. if that was the case. I'd be so stressed. Are you fucking looping those enemies? Yeah. Oh you can just my god. It. Everyone can do it. Oh, it's like it's like it. The music in this game is- you don't like the music? Dude? This is very lobby music. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Whoa! Wait, what? Why is there a trap door? Oh morning? no. Oh no, aliens. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my god, that's our classmate from uh, oh school. Oh my god. It's uh, it's uh, Ves dark. it's Vesper. And this is Vesper oh, too. Oh, I can oh, hit it. Can... Should I hit it? Yeah, save it. Holy shit, this is, this is gruesome. Oh, they dropped candy. Oh my god, they gave candy. candy. Yeah, I can't help you, but have this candy. That's <laughs> Scooby Doo music. What the fuck is this? Oh, no. Anyways, uh, I was talking to my chat before, Paul, and I've been playing a lot of shitty games in a row, and I'm kind of, it's kind of like eating me alive inside. I don't know if it's because I've been grumpy lately or something, but I've been having less tolerance for shitty games lately. So I was well, thinking of, see... of, of making the list even more strict. What do you think? The, the thing is, like, back in the day, shitty games were shitty because, like, of, like, I don't know, like, these are, they were, like, just, like, third-rate companies trying to make a quick buck, right? Yeah. So the content of a shitty game would be, like, like, unfair controls or, like, just not uh, well-designed programming and stuff like that, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So like as we go on later on into the future, where like especially in where you are now, where like PlayStation games are coming out, uh -huh. shitty games will just be just like shitty because like just because some guy just didn't bother trying to put content in, you know. Uh huh. So you're just gonna be wasting time on a game no one gave a shit about when they made it, uh -huh. and you're gonna be playing it and like it's just a waste of time, right? Okay. I feel like now we've kind of after making it to 95. We've really seen like some of the best and some of the worst, yeah. and I don't think it's necessary to have to see them all. Yeah, on the stream at least. Was that one? Yeah, it's one. Fuck. Oh, I guess she slash. Uh, but let me don't get me wrong. We played some good games too. Like like I said, the most recently, the most that that Soul Edge game is very impressive. I really like it. What? Oh, wait, did you do something? I didn't do anything. He just came out of nowhere again. But where is- Oh my god, he's sitting it... in a chair! Holy shit! Bye. This <laughs> one's out the door. But you didn't do anything. By hey, the way, wait, like, seeing these the computer the monitors flash- You know, Japan oh. was really fascinated with, like, the internet. In the- in the 90s. And people getting brainwashed and shit. I don't know, there's, there's just a ton of anime I used to watch back in the day, and there's a lot of shit about that. Like, um, well, Digital Devil Story kind of reminded me of that. And, uh, if you, have you ever watched Lane? No. Like, Serial Experiments Lane? I know it's messed up, though. It's very messed up. I watched the whole thing and fucked my head. The game you pulled it. It fucked my head. <laughs> that show has got a good soundtrack, by the way. I, I got the old soundtrack scene. But Lane was like really creepy because it was like her dad was some kind of I don't know computer guy. He would slowly like he would get like super hype upgrading his computer, and Lane she's watching her dad like you know upgrade his RAM, and his dad is just so hyped because now he can you know the computer is more powerful. Yeah, now he can play two Resident Evil games at once. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and it's like. <laughs> she holy shit, who are these guys? Uh, these are just people. <laughs> God damn man, these guys are attacking teenage girls. Anyways, uh in lane she eventually upgrades her computer, but she goes overboard. Like she uses actual like water cooling 
And the water cooling in the 90s is like literally like a flood in your bedroom. Because it, it's running so hot and she's upgrading every piece. And, and the, the whole anime is about her having this alternate persona online. Because, you know, it's just talking about the... the What's the word when you're anonymous? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it's not like anonymity. I don't know. But it's like, you know, when you're talking on a computer, you're anonymous, you know? It's like, yeah. and you can have a different personality if you want to. Yeah, you can be a shitbag if you want to. Mm, yeah. Which people usually are. Yeah, usually, yeah. But now, now it's kind of like... With Twitter, it's it's almost like the opposite now. It's like it's like I'm, I don't know. Maybe in Twitter you're not you're not trying to be someone else. Twitter, but Twitter is more like I don't know, man. You care more about what people think, you know? Yeah. Like you're constantly uh, well, especially if you're validating using your yourself account. constantly. Yeah, like you're real yourself, right? Yeah. I don't know. No thanks, guys. Messed with the 20 year old spoilers. It was just a messed up show and it was very. I think it was very irrelevant at the time in the 90s. Lane yeah, no very watched, old. Very no one watched old. anime in the 90s. Well, like, a lot of anime back in the 90s and the 80s was very philosophical, you know? Like, there is so much of that shit, dude. Where you kind of like, it's, you don't even know what you're watching. Like, do I, do I even bring up fucking, you know, Evangelion and all that shit? Like, oh my god, dude. I hate some of that shit, but... Yeah, Ghost in the Shell. Perfect Blue, I don't know, I think Perfect Blue was like a straight up story. Perfect Blue is really good. I highly recommend Perfect Blue. I watched Slime and Duck of the Night, it's still the best anime ever. Help! 90s anime was deeper and more varied, now everything is shonen. Well, you know, it's it's it's, it's a financial thing too, guys. Like like um it's just more profitable to run a lot a never ending anime than, you know, create this Two season short story, especially if you're not basing it off a of manga, then you know what I mean. Then you have your filler episodes and all that bullshit, you know. City Hunter, yeah, that's cool old school shit. No, I haven't watched One Piece. Thank God. <laughs> One Piece is actually not bad, but uh, I got bored of it after. Yeah, I'm more like back. I guess like more interested in like Hunter X Hunter. That's never gonna finish either. Yeah, that's never gonna finish either. But, you know, like I said, the 80s anime is pretty sick. And even, even in the 90s, you know, with fucking, there's so much cool shit. A lot of OVAs and shit that are really good. Ninja Scrolls, fucking awesome. Like ah. I said, perfect blue. There's Cowboy Bebop. Trigun. The Street Fighter 2 animated movie is amazing. I know manga. Manga was the one that did. That worked on that one. It's fucking amazing. No, I didn't watch Ronin Warriors. I watched a little bit of Girl and Warriors. Okay. I, I did watch some Kenshin. I was more interested in the, the Kenshin origin story, like the Samurai X shit. I like that shit. Uh, the Hitokiri is on both sides. Yeah. That shit's hardcore, dude. I have the original of this. Because Kenshin is like lighthearted, right? But the old school shit is like hardcore. Lighthearted? <laughs> have you seen the fucking late episodes? <laughs> no. It gets really bad? No, it gets pretty. Not dark, but it gets pretty violent. Yeah. I kept on seeing some 
weird KOF like anime footage and I was asking what the fuck that was about. People are telling me that they got like one of the original animators or whatever to do some shit for 15. Yeah, they did. It's like That's some cool. uh, anime. I didn't watch it though. I was like, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, who's this? Oh my god, we hit. Do I have a crystal? I do. I do too. I have two. I got a kick too. Damn, you actually one shot them all. I wonder what the six one's like. I don't know. Six one's probably just kill them. Man. Oh, it's just not fun. It's not fun right now. Ow, ow, ow. Can I hit? Yeah, get him, get him. I'm just mashing. Get him. Get him. <laughs> I think the fact that she flies is like it fucks up her hitbox. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> get a sec. That's a her hitbox. This is the last stage yet. <laughs> I've been watching some clips of Bleach on YouTube here and there, and it's actually really good. And Bleach had some cool uh, filler, just maybe poorly placed filler. Bleach actually did had some okay filler. Uh, I think the first big filler arc in Bleach was the... What was it called? Do you remember? Claw well, started with a B. No. God, I forgot what it was called. Oh, man. Come on, chat. Help me here. The Bount? Was it Bount? It was with a B for sure. Yeah, Bount? You know, everyone's saying the Bount. Yeah, that was the first big filler arc. It was not bad. Bleach is, Bleach is pretty good, man. Bleach is pretty good. Like, the whole Naruto Bleach kind of phase was pretty good, man. It was it was cool to, like, uh, watch an episode of, of Naruto and Bleach every weekend. It was alright. It was pretty cool aging as, you know, Naruto age. It was pretty good shit. It, it was very hype, man. The whole Naruto thing. It was popular, but not like mad popular, you know? When did Naruto get mad popular? Mid 2000s? It got mad popular at one point. Like before, like, you would see. When it came out, it got mad popular. You see someone in the arcade with a stupid blue headband, you wouldn't really know what it's from. Everyone fucking level Beetle, man. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Everyone love Madara, everyone love a Beetle. So yeah. Silly. But I, I feel like the anime got way popular before even that. Before even Shippuden. There was just a point where Naruto was just insane. It, the first, the first, like, very beginning. No, Naruto's got good. terrible, terrible filler. Yeah, Naruto's got horrible filler. Dude, do you remember fucking Mizuki filler? Where he was, like, jacked out of, like, for no reason? You know what I'm talking about, Mizuki, the blue haired guy? From the first no. episode? No. He no, can't he comes back in a filler episode and he's like jacked out of his mind. From like a, some kind of ninja prison. I don't know, it's fucked up dude. No, I just love old school Naruto, like the whole forest exam shit. I love that shit. But uh, they're actual ninjas? Yeah. Yeah, I love that shit. Be when Naruto's still shit. like he's still like a super goof. Oh, no, Sen Gan. This shit was sick. When when Sen Gan and Chidori dropped, that's when that's the spark yeah. of the end marker, the beginning of the end. When they first like reveal Itachi, do you remember that it's like season finale where like it just shows his eyes, dude? I fucking lost my shit. I remember flying on my chair. I was so hyped. Yeah. Shit was yeah. so cool. Now it's ass. Wasn't the original Naruto promo episode a lot different? It wasn't a lot different. You're, if you're talking about the manga, it's slightly different. It's more like they go through the detail of how Naruto stole the scroll. But in the anime, it doesn't show it at all. He just has the scroll. He just steals it. It's, it's a slightly different, but it, it doesn't affect the anime that much. Naruto starts off kind of slow. I think... The first three, four episodes. Honestly, the, the, the anime doesn't get really good until the fours is out. That's when it's like, that's when shit gets re real. Yeah, it's, the fours exam is so good. 
They, it takes a while for them to... There's a lot of characters in Naruto, you know? They have to establish a lot. When I was watching Shippuden, I noticed Naruto never used his catchphrase, believe it. I knew something was up. I never watched the dub of Naruto before, so I don't know the whole believe it bullshit. <laughs> Where they replaced that the bio. <laughs> Stupid. Go get the crystal and use it. Oh shit. Yeah, I got free. Get it, get it, get it. I'm trying to, man. Don't die, don't die. Should I use it? Yeah, use it, use it. No man, Janayo. Oh, what? Did she grab her ear? Oh my god, look how that is. Why are they red? I think they're, they're like you can... Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe. Things fine. Eat these laser eyes. She puts on her VR goggles. <laughs> it's on the dub was good? VR. I believe you guys. I know there's a lot of people that watch the dub, they never even heard them. Japanese. I heard the wow. Death Note dub was pretty good. Which on the Netflix one? Mm hmm. No, the, the anime. <laughs> it, it, it is on Netflix. Like, the anime yes. Death Note is on Netflix. And there's yes. a dub. The only problem is then you don't get to hear fucking Kira's godlike laugh. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh, this girl reminds me of that girl from uh, Art Stalkers. You know that possessed girl? Oh, Anita. Mm hmm. Yeah. Holy shit, it's oh, an arcade worker. That's, that's me in the background. That's you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they, they started wrecking the place. Dude, I, I work in a fucking arcade. Oh, he's in, he's messing around oh, with yeah. the crane game. My kitty. Oh, I'm hitting you. I'm trying to get a spot. I can't, I can't hit this thing. I don't think, I don't think boys are allowed on this floor. Remember White when we were talking about that shit? I, I don't know if you were around that time, Paul. We were talking about how certain floors of the arcade are banned from boys and men. Yeah, I it's, for, it's like a girl. It's like a girl's level. Well, you gotta set the fuck away. It's all like uh, picture games and shit. And you know, picture all games. Creeps. All picture games and Sailor Moon games. Mm -hmm. I think we were talking about this uh, when we were playing Bust the Move, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> is that what this we're playing Bust? No, not mature games, guys. Just games, you know, that are more ladylike. <laughs> ladylike. Yeah, ladylike. Ladylike is just something you stick in the stuff. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Fuck off. You can enter, but you need a girl with you. That's what Wen says. Oh. You need a girl with you. Does she have to be your girlfriend? <laughs> I think probably not. Okay, can you bring like your sister? <laughs> Puzzle Bobble is sick. Yeah, Koala was beating my ass for like four hours straight. Puzzle Bobble is the best. That game was was a perfect game for us to play. It really made like the time went by so fast. That was when I needed to switch my speed pattern and help my insomnia. That's a good uh grinder. He's back. Oh shit. Oh what? <laughs> Boys or God. boys couples. <laughs> boys couples? Would that be cool though to go into an arcade building that's like 20 floors? Yeah, each floor would be a genre. Yeah, every, yeah, every floor would be a genre. Be like a fighting game floor. I'd be in the fighting game floor. Dude, I, I, like, every time I go to West Wind Mall and I see that new arcade, it makes me so sad. <laughs> I went there today and I, looked, I saw the same arcade uh, you're talking about. Yeah. It was full of kids. Wait, you you went to Westman's Mall? Yeah, today. Really? Yeah. What were you doing down there? I was buying shit. Yeah, buying you should have picked me up some fucking Chinese food, bro. I saw that, I saw it too. I, was like, I will fucking pay you top dollar. Like, if you ever go down the West End area, let me know. I'll fucking pay you a premium. <laughs> I'm, I'm always jealous for that fucking Chinese food. I told you guys, oh, Chad, I got this weird, sick, like, guilty pleasure of of eating Chinese, like, uh, mall, mall-grade Chinese food. Holy fuck, I love it. 
When they make the fried rice and the chicken wings feel good, that's when it's really old beef. Yeah. Dude, when that ginger beef is just soaking on that heat lamp for like fucking eight hours straight, it's so delicious. Mall Chinese food is crack. Dude, you don't know the half. <laughs> I used to eat that shit like every day. I used to live really close to the mall. I could walk there. And then after school, man, fuck, dude. I'd be Jones at work. Is that, wait, does she have a real cat or is it a doll cat? It's a real cat. Oh. It's an anime cat. Why is her cat green? Because it's an anime cat. <laughs> anime Did cats are green. Luna, Luna and uh, the other cat was black and white. Mm -hmm. I guess I guess those are normal colors. Oh, I think we're on the final level. Oh shit! Is this a fortress of solitude? I don't know. Is, it, is that what it's called? No. <laughs> no. What is that, that from? It's from Superman. Oh wait, how do you know that? <laughs> I actually watch a lot of DC stuff. Oh really? I didn't know that. I watch a lot of the animated DC stuff. Like the, the, have you seen Batman Beyond? No. You know what it is? No. It's about a future Batman. Like, Bruce Wayne is old and he needs a protege, and his kid named Terry becomes a new Batman. Really? Pretty sick though, I think. Vesper is uncultured? A little, yeah. <laughs> How do you not know about Portrait of Song? I, I, I don't, I don't fucking... Well, remember, I, I never liked Superman. I, I thought I Superman too. was like the most... The, the thing wackiest is, I didn't superhero watch... ever. Yeah, like, the thing is, I didn't like Superman, but I watched the Justice League, and that's Dude, yeah, well, in particular, I like the whole story of, uh... Well, first, I didn't know about the science. You know how Superman is kind of based off of science? Like, he's powered by the sun, he's, you know, oh, yeah. the gravity is weak to him, he's an alien, all that shit. I didn't know any of that. Oh. I just thought he was just some punk ass who went in a telephone booth and he became Superman. I didn't know... I didn't know he's Superman first, you know what I'm saying? And Clark mm -hmm. Kent is his alter ego. Yes. And then I'm, I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. That's like different, right? But then once we got into the Injust Ass arc of yeah. Superman being a bad guy, then I'm like, wow, he's so much more interesting as a and bad then the guy. Boy, and then the boys came up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wait, what, is this? Is she supposed to be upside down? Is this a bug? <laughs> I think it's a bug, dude. Oh, he grabbed it. Oh, Christ. Get the fuck out of the ground. <laughs> As long as you don't go upside down. Yeah, the game bugged, dude. She was upside down. What the hell? I got this guy in the loop. No, I don't. I don't want to loop. Ah, he shot me. But lately, I've just been watching old TV shows, and and I watched the new James Bond, and I thought it was pretty good. That's pretty much it. Last time you played one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got him. Oh, I don't got him. I didn't want to like interrupt you. I can hit you. I thought I got him. Oh my god, she's cracked. She's cracked. She got the uh, teenager. Huh? Ever since she went upside down, she powered up. <laughs> Are you playing that new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game? I tried it. I got bored of it real quick. Because the meta is meta is really different now. It's like, not like the, the same Yu-Gi-Oh I used to play. It's a different game? It's pretty much a different game now. Really? Yeah, because you can summon so many monsters in one turn, it's like so fucked up. Like, I, did, I didn't know they changed the rules. It's not like they changed the rules, they changed the cards are different. Is the anime still going on? Oh, well, there's different anime. Like the original anime with Yuki, I yeah. ended like I ended like ten years ago. Oh. It's like five different series. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! the original, yeah. and then Yu-Gi-Oh! DX that came out in like 2000. Yeah. And then Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D that came out in like 2010, I guess. Then Yu-Gi-Oh! Sexo. And Holy I think the newest cow. one. And then Yu-Gi-Oh! Lynx is or something. Like, I, don't know, I don't know what the new one's called. But yeah, there's a bunch of fucking Yu-Gi-Ohs. Holy cow. Now me is fucking making bank, dude. Oh, yeah. No one, they, I don't know, no one has any shit left to you. Zex, Zexo is trash. <laughs> I, I really hate that. the main character. Zexo is like, the main character is like some little kid. Is, does, is he, is he like, one of those still like, he's a beta and he turns into an alpha? Yeah, pretty much. Really? He turns into an alpha, yeah. He gets, <laughs> he gets, he gets, he gets amazing. 
He gets possessed by some uh, card or some shit. Oh really? And then, uh, I, I saw That's this one clip. He, yeah, he becomes an absolute alpha in this one clip, and he just beats two duelists at once. Yeah. <laughs> and he just fucking he just fucking cheats. He's like, I have this card, and I beat everything. Okay. That's funny. Card games, man. Yeah. Card games for serious shit. Yeah. Card games. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Okay, those bosses had way too much help. Yes. I used to beat this on a game. <laughs> ah! So much shit. Oops. So why, why do people play Yu-Gi-Oh? Is it because of the anime? Half? Half like, how do people get into Yu-Gi-Oh rather than get into like MTG or Hearthstone or something? Well, the thing is, like, there are TCG players that play every TCG, right? Mm -hmm. And there, it's probably like half anime, half TCG players that play the uh, thing. It's because it's a fun card game and it's anime. <laughs> how come uh, Nintendo didn't go hard on the Pokemon cards? I like, what I mean is, like, you know how Pokemon it. cards have a resurgence right now because the old cards are worth so much money? No, I don't think so. I think the new cards are worth a lot of money, too. Yeah, so why don't they have a game going on? Like, you can... Well, you mean, like, a, like, a, like a, a fight? I don't, I don't, I'm not talking about, like, a card anime. I'm just saying that, like, why don't they capitalize on the Pokemon? Yeah, like, a, like, like an MTG fight, right? Yeah. Uh, I think it's because Nintendo doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I think they don't see any money in TCG. Well, everyone, everyone in the chat box is saying they like Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's fun and because of the anime. That's gonna be too. Like, the original anime, uh, I'm sorry, not anime, the original cards I loved, and they, they were fun back then, but... I think that was a really clever idea, having an anime back up the card game. You know the anime wasn't even about the card game at first? Oh, really? It was about Yu-Gi-Oh! doing fucked up shit to people. Man, I didn't know it runs out. Yeah, it's like Yuki was being bullied like in, in high school, like uh, how it starts in the uh, original anime. Mm -hmm. But then like his he he gets a puzzle and then he gets possessed. Oh my god, we're running out of time. That's weird. Anyways, yeah, he gets possessed and then like whoever bullies him, he just like uh, does like a like kind of like a jigsaw shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he punches them and then they they usually become like brain dead after. Oh shit. Oh, this is the last boss. Nice. Queen Queen Barrel. Right? Oh my god, so I think that's how to pronounce it. Oh, we got it. Oh, you got oh, it. I, I, I matched too hard. Oh. Uh, best way, oh. you should watch Yu Gi Oh! Japanese version, very different from the US. We can't watch it on Twitch. Oh, Chase, I matched too hard. Does, does, that, does that have Joey Wheeler? Yes, it does. His, 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 his localized name is Joey Wheeler. His Japanese name is Gonochi. Really? Yeah. It, it's because it was four kids that dubbed it. Like, you know, four kids that dubbed Naruto? No. Don't you remember? Naruto was translated with the fucking the stupid uh, lunchbox. And, and yeah, what about it? That's four kids. And four kids did the same thing with uh, Yu Gi Oh! Well, what's so violent about Yu Gi Oh! There's a lot of them. Well, not a lot of violent shit, but they used to have like guns in anime and they, they sent Oh, them. really? Yeah. Oh. And, and it used to be like, the cards used to have like satanic images and like. Uh, oh, images. yeah. I mean, there's like dark magic and shit, right? Yeah, it's dark like cult shit. Yeah. Is that bad for kids? No, but you know. You know. <laughs> But like, you, like, do you think that's dangerous for kids to see? Like, like skeletons and shit? No. I don't think so. It's just like Halloween, dude. What the fuck? Yeah. If you're saying that, well... I Wait, what? I didn't give him my name in. Yeah, I know. It just automatically put it in. So yeah, you had enough of this game. That's it. Best I used to play MTG first, and Yu-Gi-Oh! came out, and I thought it was funny, but I got sucked in. Wow, that's the whole game. Wow. This game felt like the biggest like arcade cash grab I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, it had the characters and stuff, but it wasn't fun. Like, dude, for a 1995 beat em up, this game felt so outdated. And the girls were ripped off back in the day. Yeah. I'd be pissed too if I was a girl gamer. Yeah, they'd be like, fuck this, let's just take pictures. <laughs> and play Bust a Move. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> and walk play bus. <laughs> and then they go to the fighting game floor. They go, "Who's all these losers?" <laughs> and yeah, the music there. was the weakest part of this game, guys. Definitely the weakest. Yeah, they didn't have the theme. The yeah, the they should have just like, you know what I mean? Maybe they couldn't get the rights to it. It's too expensive. Whatever. This <laughs> game was a cash grab. It looked, it looked kind of nice. It looked played okay. okay. It played okay, but like, it could play better. Like, you, you know what? We beat this game, Claw. We couldn't even beat the Power Ranger game, so what does that say? What well, the thing? The Power Ranger game was on Super Nintendo. Yeah. If this game was on Super Nintendo, I don't think we would have beat it, honestly. Uh, we didn't we? We played a Super Nintendo game together, didn't we? A beat em up. Yeah, yeah but it wasn't fun or hard. <laughs> yeah. Alright, oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah, it's... Sailor Moon... They got some variety. It's all beat em up and... There's one fighting game made by Arxis. And then I DBZ think... never got a beat em up game. Yeah, they do. They do? Oh, you mean like... Like, 95, like 90s traditional? Yeah, like we got... We, our, the, remember the first DBZ game we played? It was that fighting game. Where the screen split up and we're trying to do supers. <laughs> yeah, that was horrible. Yeah. You guys didn't do the max super attacks from the show. Yeah, we couldn't get six crystals. What do you? What it's you hard see? to get crystals, man. I got three. Qua couldn't like keep it in his pants. He had to use it every time he like got two. But the thing is, like, if you die, you lose the crystals too. So, like, what the hell? Yeah. So. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not the Sailor Scout you guys deserve.